single competition Chris Maine who we just saw and now we see in the middle of the ring with Dante was supposed to do battle in a singles match against Lonnie Kialoha but thanks to Commissioner George Goulis being on the spot at the television tapings today well we're gonna have an impromptu tag team matchup I tell you Jason George Goulis is setting his foot down and trying to straighten things up around here but you know how it is with George we got a big tag team going on. Dante and Jeff Daniels are tag teaming. Against Chris Main and Kareem Abdul-Jamar. Now, you mentioned earlier in the broadcast that Jeff Daniels, you saw him with, with Dante earlier in the evening. And I just want to know, what is the connection between Dante and Jeff Daniels? And does Mephisto have anything to do with it? I think before the, all this is over with, Mephisto's going to have a lot to do with it. Uh, it's if you see Jeff Daniels and you see Dante with their heads together in the small and talking, you can be sure that there's something going to happen in very few weeks at NWA main event with Dante coming back in for some reason unknown to us that Jeff Daniels has contacted Dante and brought him in. I don't know if Jeff Daniels may be concerned that Playboy Scott Hayes may be coming back into territory. I don't know if Jeff Daniels is concerned about the uh, big cage match next week, next Saturday night in Portland, Tennessee. But uh, it seems to me like that Jeff Daniels is trying to get him some extra security to help him out. Well, the, the devil's disciple, Dante, who is definitely a good, a good person to call on for that. I'll tell you this, Dante, over the years, I've watched him. He's, I'm sure you have. He's very devious, Jason, and his partner, Mephisto, is even worse. I bet he is. Yeah, Mephisto's got the far. I've seen him throw far several times. and just, I saw him throw far against uh, Ben Jordan one night and burnt the hair off his head. Yeah, and I heard Ben hated you for years after that. Who? Kareem Abdul-Jamar coming off. Elbow onto the elbow of Jeff Daniels. And now Jamar, obviously, you see Jeff Daniels didn't get the, the uh, assault from behind on Jamar this contest. So now things are a little bit more evened out. It's two on two. You don't have Jeff Daniels assaulting him from behind. So now maybe Jamar can hold his own in the ring with the Crippler. I think there's going to be a big difference in this match with the Crippler and Jamar. Uh, it just looked like that Jeff Daniels... I think Jamar was intimidated, Jason, in that last match. Well, I think Jeff, Jeff Daniels, Daniels was intimidated. I think Jamar was intimidated by Jeff Daniels, and that's the reason Jeff Daniels took advantage. You know, you can smell fear, Jason. You really go to town, you work on it. Oh, Jeff Daniels, what he saw is he saw a, a valid individual, a worthy opponent, and decided to attack him from behind. That way he could take any chances the young kid might have had to pin him tonight. Here in Nashville. That's, That's what I saw. But let's remind the fans about Burns, Tennessee, since it's a hot. Well, it's on the screen. I don't see it. You put it on there. Burns, Tennessee, Thursday, May the 21st, featuring Jerry the King Lawler. Old school match, the Wild Boys against Mephisto and Dante. 7.30 bell time. Folks, you won't want to miss this because maybe the last time you see the Devil's Disciples together. Well, hurry up, Mike. It mentioned the number. It's only a 30-second graphic right there, 262-4455. Call the number for tickets today, ticket information and all that. That's right, 262-4455. Call and reserve your tickets if you want them. They're also on sale at the Tater Shack. Greenside tickets, events are on sale at the Tater Shack in Dixon, Tennessee. Also, we got a special referee for the old school match, Jason, the mayor. Jeff Bishop is going to be the special referee in the old school. Well, I just can't believe that making it her return to the ring, none other than Christopher Love. Matt Boyce will be facing Jerry Lawler that night with Christopher Love in the corner. Kareem Abdul-Jamar now, upper hand slightly on Dante. Dante, an impressive individual. This man probably didn't have to, uh, to measure up at many carnival rides when he was a kid. I'm sure he didn't. He's the only 
the only third grader that stood taller than the sign. Well, that's because he's 30 years old in third grade, Jason. Give the guy a break. Dern, don't just put him down and run him down. Thrust through the throat from Jeff the Crippler Daniels. And now with a cheap shot. Once more, the cheap shot on Kareem Abdul-Jamar. You see, that's the only way you can get the job done is with a cheap shot. Jason, that's experience. Years of experience. That's cowardness is you, what that you is. take those cheap shots. Did you see what he did when he took the cheap, cheap shot? He's a coward. Jamar tried to come in. The referee had to get him out. And then they Jamar gives Dante. was nowhere close to coming that, in the ring. Jeff he was trying just to get felt in the like ring and the referee had to stop him. I don't think you're watching the same contest I am. Just like, yeah, was Jamar, See, trying, Jamar to get the trying to get in the ring? The referee's going out to get Jamar out. Now look at what Jeff Daniels and the Crippler are doing. Yeah, absolutely a double team assault. You know what? You, you sound like the reasoning of someone, Mephisto. Not I, but I can tell you, I can sit back and watch what's going on. I've watched this for 42 years and been involved in it, and I know a little bit about what's going on. I don't think you know as much as you think you do. What's, it's your, IQ? what's your IQ, Jason? Double yours. It's obvious that Jeff the Crippler Daniels and Dante are going to take every shortcut possible to get ahead because they're afraid that these two young stallions in the ring in Maine and Jamar can, can out-wrestle them, can outlast them. Can, they, they've got more endurance. They've got more, more, more agileness. I'm not even sure if that's a word, I'm but they're take, agile. I agree 100% with you, but I'm going to tell you what, Jason. You know what Jeff Daniels and Dante's trying to do? They're trying to injure these kids so they can't come back. Well, they're doing a good job of it. Cheap shot at God. As Jeff.